Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today, my group mates and I will be talking about our final year project, which is constructing PWQT kit. My group mates consist of Junal Chan, Chris Rainer Paul, and myself, Aaron Pio Peter. First, I will be starting off with problem statement. There are three problem statements, which is water sampling issue, distance issue, and the calculations for the WQI issues. The problem that arises for the water sampling issues is that when the samples are improperly taken or the amount of water samples that are taken is not enough. The problem with the distance issues is the distance between the field research area and the laboratory. The ideal time for the samples to get from the field research area to the laboratory is around 4 to 24 hours after the samples are taken. The longer the sample is exposed to different temperatures and surroundings, the more incorrect it will come out. The last one which is the calculations for WQI issues. Students find it very challenging to understand the different calculations procedure as they have to refer to the different kinds of WQI standards and formula. Now, moving on to the objectives. There are three objectives, which is to design the PWQT kits, to replicate the PWQT kits, and to test the practicality and the functionality of the PWQT kits. Moving on to methodology methods. In the first phase, we first identified the problem, and then we studied on how the PWQT kit and WQI wheel works. We also conducted a research about the six parameters of the water quality. In the second phase, we started designing the PWQT kits and the WQI wheels, we also determined whether or not it reached the design criteria that we wanted. We also started creating the WQI wheels. And then we started buying the equipment for the PWQT kit and then started creating it. After that, we analyzed the effectiveness of our PWQT kit. Next are the materials for making PWQT kit. All you need are masking tape, paper cutter, measuring tape, styrofoam, permit empty toolbox, and also a spray pen. For WQI wheels, all you need are F4 paper, thumbtack, and also a scissor. The instruments that we use are pH and DO meter, COD tester, ammonia kit, WQI wheel test tube, and sampling instructions. Next, the process are prepare a toolbox and measure it. Design the arrangement and cut the styrofoam for padding. And cut the instruments layout and wrap it together using masking tape. Spray the styrofoam, let it dry, and after that, put the instruments into each of the placement. While the process of making WQI wheels are first, draw the layout and then insert the text and colors using AutoCAD. After that, print it out and cut it by following the circular shape. Next, laminate the wheels and then cut the outer layer of the wheels by leaving a gap of 0.3 cm. Finally, attach the wheel using the thumbtack. Next, we're going to show you on how to use the PWQT kit in the field work. Next is our research findings. For pH with the value of 7.89, COD with 4.7 mg per L, DO with 8.2 mg per L, and ammonia with 0.25 mg per L. Select a suitable sub-index formula for each parameter and we will get pH with 92.51, COD with 92.85, DO with 1.51, and ammonia with 74.25. By using WQI formula, we will get the value of pH with 11.1, COD with 14.86, DO with 0.33, and ammonia with 11.14. 
For the proposal, we can add suspended solid tester and BOD tester to complete the PWQT kit. After that, prepare the instruction of the suspended solid tester and BOD tester. In conclusion, by using PWQT kit, we can determine the data in C2. We can also avoid collecting many samples to the lab. It is easy to manage as it is not heavy to carry and the instruments are easy to use. And lastly, we had achieved the objectives of constructing PWQT kit. That's all from my group. Thank you.